Masters. Today I'm going to talk about something that uh, not many, I did not hear many preppers talk about. And yeah, it's something that I always use in my survival, not only in my bug out bag, but also just in general. Because uh, for reasons I will talk in a minute. But what am I talking about? It's coconut oil. Yeah, it's one of those life-saving plants when you're washing ashore like uh, Tom Hanks in, a, in that one movie with the, <laughs> with the volleyball. But yeah, the thing is, it has so many uses. So I would advise to, uh, especially in this time where cooking oils are uh, hard to get, it's a wise investment actually. You can, you can buy a coconut oil in one of these uh, small jars or even in big, bigger buckets. So what's, what's so good about co uh, coconut oil? Well, it has a lot of survival uses actually. Uh, I will list them up. Uh, uh, I'm going to sheet because yeah, I put a list in front of me so I don't forget. So I don't forget uh, any points. So here are the the things you can do with coconut oil. Well, first of all, like I said before, uh, it's a good cooking oil. It's not only healthier, but there is a certain thing that if you eat a lot of coconut oil, it's something it can do from the inside out. With your skin uh, it helps to get a better Im immune system it's more healthier and um, yeah just something to eat your skin that it's that it will not be that uh, that hard for the when you get when you work a lot in the in the sun so that's something that's uh, often been noticed in uh, polynesia and such so yeah that's a already a good thing uh cooking oil so imagine just off point imagine if you're on a bug out back if you have uh, or on a bug out with your bug out bag and you have coconut oil with it, do, these are all the things you can do also with a bug in. But imagine how many how multifunctional this will be. So I will go continue with the point. Wound dressing. It's just like actually a little bit like with uh, honey. If you uh, put uh, if you have a small cut and it's like very hot and humid, that's then you have more risk for infection. So if you strikes down strikes some uh, coconut oil over a small wound then there is less chance that it can be can get infected it also has some antibacterial comp uh, composites of it not entirely but it's better than nothing if you have a small wound during a bug out uh, the next thing sunscreen this is actually kind of the debated in a way and that's for the reason i will tell uh it's I always, I always have been using it as a sunscreen, and it helped. Uh, I personally have never been got a sunburn where I got uh, some coconut oil on it uh, on my body. So I can, I don't know if it's just by coincidence or, but for me it works. But there are some, there are some sources that contradict it, and they say that you have to put it together with some other things like citrus and such uh, mix it with the coconut oil and then it will be a better sunscreen it's not the best sunscreen like but i prefer it for two things for that way uh one it's uh cheap uh, much cheaper than uh, actually sunscreen and it's more healthy uh, what do i mean by that i mean if you put sunscreen from the supermarket on you there could be potential chemical uh, uh Com, uh, how do you say this chemical parts in it that are not that really healthy especially when you get them into in, uh, around your face and in your mouth so yeah that could be a problem with uh, traditional uh, supermarket uh, sunscreens but in a survival situation it's very very good uh, to my to what I personally uh, experienced uh, which come to the next thing as a, it's also a good lip chap. Uh, yeah, people who have often do, uh, got a broken skin on their lips because they are dehydrated on that part. Uh, yeah, it, it's a better alternative than actual lip chalp. Uh, why? Lip chalp, uh, it's full of certain chemicals and it's kind of a long-term risk if you get it, if you put it regularly on your mouth and you get it inside of your body to eat. So yeah, it's a more natural thing. It helps to moisturize the lips, 
and yeah, it's more natural. So yet again, that's uh, also a good point. Uh, it's also a good sun uh, cream for a sunburn. Uh, if you got sunburned, and don't forget, if you're going to apply a coconut oil on it, be sure that the sunburn is already cooled. Do not put it on your on the sunburn when it's still soaring, uh, really sore and just happening. So yeah, first cool it off with with water and then apply the sunscreen. So what does the well, I mean with the with the coconut oil? So what does it do? It helps moisturize the skin. So that's helping uh, for the recovery for the recovery process of your skin where you got the sunburn. Uh, don't forget, like I said, do it after the cooling. Uh, next thing, foot protection. We all know, uh, well, for people who take long walks, doing some hiking or travel uh, far where by foot, they will know that uh, yeah, your foot your foot will uh, you will get sore after such a long uh, uh, after long attempts, oh, yeah, especially with a with a backpack on your back. So if you want to also to avoid uh, athlete foot, it's uh, good to after after the day of walking and your rest and you're, you're making ready for the night, rub your feet every day if you're going to before sleep with your with coconut oil. So it helps moisturize the the skin of the foot. And it will uh, also be kind of helping against fungus, fungus in a in a in a way. So that's also a good uh, uh, how do you say this uh, part of of the coconut oil. All right. Uh, next thing, leather. Uh, yeah, if you got some leather bags, shoes, knife sheets, and so on. So yeah, if you rub those in with coconut oil, you can make them last longer. It's yeah. In a, in a survival situation, there are better products on the market for that. But like I said, in a survival situation and you want to be multifunctional, it's a good alternative to keep leather better, which sounds uh, awesome. I did not think about it. Mm. All right. Next thing, it's uh, like like with many oils, it's, it's a good uh, anti-rust. Um, it's not really anti-rust, anti but it gives a protective la layer onto metal. Or when they are rusted, you can uh, you can uh, put coconut oil in, it, let it let it uh, dry for a uh, for a few for a uh, half an hour in the sun, and then take it off. And then most rust, I say most, will uh, will get cleaned off easily and more easily than you would without. And yet again. It's uh, helping for uh, keep your keep rust of the knife if you oil them uh, regularly in in a survival situation. All right. Uh, next, uh, it's a good source of energy, uh, not only for as a cooking oil, but also if you put it in if you mix it with water, uh, like if you have a, a mug of water and you mix it with coconut oil, and I would say only with one spoon because for the reason I will tell in a minute. Uh, it can give you a little bit energy that it's getting faster into your system and it can help with if you have a problem with a low blood sugar it can help it a little bit up so that's also a good benefit of co uh, coconut oil uh, next thing against constipation if you do not mix coconut oil with water uh, and directly eat it with a spoon that's kind of helps with constipation so yeah that's also a good thing if you're in a survival situation. You have to eat things that you would normally not eat and you get constipated because of it. Yeah, that could form a real problem. And if you don't have the right medicine or other things like prune juice to help relieve yourself, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's also a good uh, uh, thing from the coconut oil. Shaving. Uh, yeah, if you... I will not say it's a... It's a it's a more of a improvised alternative if you do not have shave uh, shave cream or something like that. But if you put it on your skin, it helps moisturize the skin uh, that it will not get uh, how do you say is bruised bruised as much if you if you try to shave it without uh, shaving cream. So that's a good alternative, not the perfect one, but it's a useful one. And another thing is, uh, yeah, it's handy for uh, when you want to be a little bit 
if you want to give your uh, partner a massage um, a massage or uh, want to help with uh, with a bit, a bit fun times if you catch my drift so yeah those are some of the benefits of of coconut oil i presume there are many more uses because yeah it's one of those things that are almost universal it's one of those it's almost a sacred tree tree for every survivalist in the pacific uh to say so yeah coconut oil i would advise it if you uh the another benefit of it it has a long-term storage in contrary to uh vegetable oils or uh other types of oil so yeah if you buy uh like me a bucket of this this will last very very long uh i can i cannot say for sure but before it go rancid but it will be a couple of years till it go rancid and even if it's rancid and you cannot use it for for uh for digestion and for for uh cooking uh purposes it can still be used for several other things like i said before with the uh, examples i said before and you can also use it for uh as a uh, to make an improvised candle uh, or oil uh, or a oil lamp or something like that so that's also a good uh, use of it uh, yeah if you uh, there's another other thing you need to know about coconut oil uh, under a temperature of uh, 18 degrees Celsius it will get uh, like you can see in a solid state but once you go above 18 degrees Celsius then it's uh, going to melt so if you like you can see, I usually put this in a bottle because often when I use it, it's a more for a sunscreen or for other things when it's warm. So yeah, this will be liquid in those temperatures, especially if you carried it in a little pocket outside of your bug out bag. So or if it's in a winter modus, you can uh, put it in your like in your uh, your uh, how do you say this in your jacket. Let it warm up with your body heat because your body heat will be above the 18 degrees Celsius and it also will get uh, uh, more liquefied so you can use it even in winter in that way but hurry up because in, in 20 minutes it will uh, yet again get to a solid matter. Um, I would advise to put it into a container that you can close off. If it's a, uh, if it's a bottle it's hard to get it in because in a solid state I would first warm it up and then pour it into the bottle or get a little box and make sure that it's tight uh, that you can make it tight because if it goes open and the coconut oil is getting uh, liquefied and it runs all over in your bag bag that's no no good but it's in a in a little box is more handy if you open it you can just strike it over with your finger and use as much if you, if you want it here you're dependent on what you can pour out especially if you need to liquefy it first so yeah that's something you need to be wary about if you're going to use it instead of other types of oil. Uh, yeah, so this was my uh, my take on uh, some overlooked prepper item, and that is uh, the coconut oil. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you know any other uses for coconut oil, uh, let me know it in the comments. I'm, I really want to learn about this stuff. If the, there is something I don't know yet, so please uh, educate me if I forgot if I forgot something or did not know something, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Cheers.